Are you looking to run machine learning on Docker containers in the cloud? Future-proofing your workflow and allowing you to use any library of your choice. If so, then you've come to the right place. Because today, we're going to run custom containers on Google Cloud AI platform. Welcome to AI Adventures, where we explore the art, science, and tools of machine learning. My name is Yufeng Guo, and on this episode, we're going to use AI Platform's custom containers to see how to run custom training jobs on Google Cloud using Docker containers. This approach gives us a number of key benefits. First is faster startup time. If you use a custom container with all of your dependencies pre-installed, you can save the time that your training application would otherwise take to install those dependencies when starting up. So that gives you faster training and fewer network and compute resources used. Second, you can use any machine learning framework you want. Just install your chosen framework in your custom container, and then just use it to run those jobs on AI Platform. This not only means you can use every tool under the sun, but it also future-proofs your workflow, allowing you to easily switch libraries or add new ones for experimentation. Third, and this is a little bit related to the previous point, you can use the latest build of a library. Or if you want an older version, if that's what you're relying on, that's great too. No one will force you to update if you're not ready. It's your container. It's also worth pointing out that since you're building your own container image, that if you want a certain functionality, you're going to have to install it. So if you want something like hyperparameter tuning or GPU support, you'll need to make sure to include the necessary libraries to make those features work. OK, let's look at how you can use custom containers to train a model. We're going to try to use PyTorch to train on MNIST, just to show off the tooling and process. First things first, we've got to create the container. Now, I know that some parts of the data science community are a bit against learning yet another tool to do their work. But I'm hoping that you're here to learn new things. Plus, it definitely seems like containers are here to stay. So it will be really useful to learn this tool. Our Docker file installs PyTorch, CloudML Hypertune, and downloads GSUtil for exporting cloud storage. And then it configures some paths. Finally, it copies in the training code and then sets it up to run right when the container starts executing. Be sure to test your Docker file locally before you use it by building that image and running it. Then you can push it off to Google Container Registry, or GCR. That's where AI Platform will look for your image during the training job. Once you have your image uploaded to GCR, creating a job is quite similar to normal usage of AI Platform training. There's just one extra command line argument when you submit that training job. You want to make sure you include dash dash master image URI and pass in that GCR URI. At this point, you might be wondering, why go through all the trouble of building a Docker image if we could just run the training locally? There's a couple of scenarios I can imagine where this would be particularly useful. Perhaps your data is larger than your machine storage, or the data set is secured behind permissions, so you can't run the full training job on a local machine. Or maybe the compute resources of your local machine just aren't adequate because you need something like multiple GPUs. A third reason might be that you want to do distributed training across many machines, or you want to run many jobs in parallel to each other or you just really like working with containers. Hey, that's always a possibility. For those who need containers, AI platform training with custom containers provides a great new set of features and functionality to explore. I can't wait to hear about how you containerize your model. Thanks for watching this episode of Cloud AI Adventures. And if you enjoyed it, click that Like button, and be sure to subscribe to get all the latest episodes right when they come out. For now, check out AI platform custom containers for all your custom training needs.